Hello oh, freaks! In this video, we'll unveil the fascinating world of transistors. Learn how these tiny components work as switches and revolutionize technology. We'll also explore the leading company in processor manufacturing. Come, let's dive in! Transistor is a semiconductor device that regulates current or voltage in electronic circuits. It amplifies small signals and acts as a switch, controlling electricity flow. Transistors are key to modern electronics, enabling smaller and more powerful technologies like computers and smartphones. The transistor was invented by John Bardeen, William Shockley, and Walter Bretain in 1947. A transistor has three terminals, collector, base, and emitter. Collector, gathers and sends out electrons, or holes. Base, controls the flow from emitter to collector. Emitter, supplies electrons, or holes. Voltage or current at one pair of terminals controls the other pair, allowing the transistor to act as an amplifier or switch. Types of transistors. Bipolar junction transistor, field effect transistor, unipolar junction transistor, junction field effect transistor, metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor, insulated gate bipolar transistor, avalanche transistor, Schottky transistor, diffusion transistor. Transistors can be classified into various categories, but we will focus on the two main types. A bipolar junction transistor BJT is a three-terminal semiconductor device used to amplify or switch electronic signals. It consists of three layers, emitter, base and collector, and comes in two types, PNP transistor. Holes are the majority charge carriers. Current flows from the emitter to the collector when the base is forward biased. NPN transistor. Electrons are the majority charge carriers. Current flows from the collector to the emitter when the base is forward biased. BJTs control current using electrons and holes. Note, P is pentavalent, N is trivalent semiconductor. A field effect. Transistor FET is a three-terminal semiconductor device that controls current with an electric field. Using a single type of charge carrier, it has high input impedance. Voltage applied to the gate regulates current between the source and drain, making FETs efficient for amplification and switch current between the source and drain using gate voltage and comes in N-channel electrons and P-channel holes types, typically used for low-power signal amplification. A MOSFET uses an insulated gate to control conductivity, also available in N-channel and P-channel types, and is used in digital circuits and power switching. A transistor is crucial in electronics acting as a switch and amplifier. It has three parts, emitter, base and collector. A small voltage to the base controls a larger current between the emitter and collector. This gate opens or closes based on the base voltage, allowing or stopping current flow. Transistors also amplify weak signals, boosting them from a small input to a stronger output. Their ability to switch and amplify is vital in many electronic devices. You'll gain a better understanding of how a transistor functions. Advanced microchips, essential for devices from fridges to fighter jets, are made using a complex process called extreme ultraviolet EUV lithography. This technology, crucial for creating tiny features on chips, is solely provided by ASML, a Dutch company. Major chipmakers like TSMC, Intel, Samsung and Qualcomm, rely on ASML's $150 million machines to produce the latest and most powerful semiconductors. ASML's EUV machines operate in ultra-clean environments, using CO2 lasers to generate EUV light by vaporizing tin droplets 50,000 times per second. This precision technology gives ASML a unique position in the semiconductor industry. Despite U.S. efforts to restrict ASML's technology from reaching China, ASML still provides older equipment to Chinese manufacturers. With a history dating back to 1984, and a valuation of around $193 billion, ASML's investment in EUV technology during the 1990s has cemented its role as the sole supplier of these essential machines. The U.S. is concerned about China's potential to develop similar technology, which could take a decade. ASML's dominance remains crucial for maintaining a technological edge in semiconductor manufacturing. 